that one. Oh, oh, he's getting on the car. Yeah, I would love to watch him drive that. And there he goes. Oh my God, this is a bit like when I have my driving lessons, but. Okay, hello, good morning. Look at this. Insane. So, if you haven't seen yesterday's video, Eschef was just being naughty at my grandma's house. I tried to feed him a gumball. But before we got there, my mom took me around that road that I had my driving lesson this morning. I took two laps there. But after that, we had been into a neighborhood that my aunt used to live like years ago. And I took one lap there. This time, it turned out to be much more complex that I learned how to pull my car back. Like, you know, you unlock the parking mode and like it's, if it's on p then you can't do anything anyway but if it's unlock like if you turn off the p like you can even pull your joystick towards d n and r if it's on n then it doesn't even move at all no matter what if it's on r then you're trying to move back and be able to actually get on the road from the parking spot so you move your car away from the parking spot when it's on d simple as that you drive so either d and r whatever you're trying to control whatever you're trying to do then you have to control either d n or r other than that in yesterday's video we got some toys for smokey to play with we let eshef play with some of them but the others we kept for smokey to play with and he was already in the mood to play with them even before they were 100 percent ready to be played with oh my god i threw that green and white plastic ball on the floor and he didn't really get it but when it came to the mice like even before i fully opened them he already went for them insane i have been looking through these pictures from our most recent vacation which was just a short while ago we haven't checked some of the rooms though but look at this one holy hell how old is this house? How old? 90? 95? 100? They told us that it was around before World War II. And that's me holding the number 9 balloon. But that number 9 balloon was from her birthday last year. Jelly cake! Ha ha ha, look at that. I could see our bright silver brother of ours. Yeah, Peugeot, like the same shape, but just slightly different color. I really like these. I wonder if I can find the exact same for my mom's car today, or any other electrics. This was, uh, what is this 308? Oh, this is a Peugeot 308 car. It's very similar to ours. Yeah, the one that the I just checked about five, the, the one that I checked about five minutes ago, that was, I guess, a 207 Peugeot model. Okay. Let me try again. This is funny. Turn the CD on. Okay, now it should be working. Now it should be working well enough to see the thing. There we go. Let's see the directions. Let's yeah, let's see how much. 29 minutes. 29 minutes till we get there. I guess there must be something majorly special. I know. We come up to this car again, look. Oh, if I can open this window because suddenly inside a car, it's got a bit hot. But there we go, Peugeot 207. Again, exactly that one. So it has opened up a little bit. There we go. And exactly the same color, just like our brother. My goodness, it's insane. We got in the mall and it smells like expired bread. Oh my God. I couldn't even handle it for another minute. But while we're here, oh, look at all the televisions. Wow. We had said that from before we would get some furniture into this house. It's nice fashioned. No, oh wow, there's an elevator. Yeah, there's elevators pretty much around everywhere when we come around here. I didn't. I didn't point out that there was an elevator. I would always take the escalator. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. It's, I guess it's just a secret that we found out. Wow. Then again, 
Two of them. Yeah, two of them. This time, not they're driving horse, riding horses, not driving cars this time. But yeah, look at that. They're in Thailand. Wow. Now that they're parking, but imagine one of them just goes on the car. There was this little boy. Yep, that one. Oh, oh, he's getting on the car. Yeah, I love to watch him drive that. And there he goes. Oh my God, this is a bit like when I have my driving lessons, but since this is just a Cape car, it's very simple. Not even like those automatic cars that, you know, it'll take time to pull back. This is still, like pulling back the car is that part that I'm already learning for my driving lesson. But look at him, there he gets. Wow. Look at him. Wonderful. Wow. Now both. Ah. Oh, okay. Right. What the? What are you doing? Wow. Yeah. Because those are not actual cars. And it's surprising that they easily. Oh, there they are now. It's surprising that they easily turn back. Well, that's the part that I'm focusing on for my driving practices. Look at that. He's still continuing. He just moved to the red one. Oh yeah, his father. Look, walking right behind him. Well, the other blue one. He found the horses. One of them's a zebra. One of them's a giraffe. As you can see, right in front of Thailand. Oh, there's the video game controller. Yeah, it looks more like a video game controller than an actual remote control when you used to turn the television on. But uh oh, now he's getting even further. Oh my god, I wonder if he's gonna ride the whole lap. Okay, there. This is it. And we found out that you can also take the... It's funny, you can also take the elevator to parking. Wow. So there really is elevators in this place, it's just that we don't see. What the heck? Now, oh my god, I'm literally getting blocked by punching people. Now there's just still... There's still this one guy who spent minutes trying to park and now it's all this oh wow look at that they've already prepared the winter stuff really cool really, really shiny all right i thought this was a i thought that was gonna be a ferrari car coming i just looked at some really fast car engine but no i heard it wrong it turns it's another, it's regular. yeah i mean yeah i heard some like squeaky noise coming from a sports car's engine it was just a Mega like, Nate like, Renault car. Like the other day we saw the Porsche with that weird noise. Oh no, it was like a horse engine. Some time ago. Actually that was like some time ago that we saw a car making some horse noises with its engine. Yes. But that Mega Nate Renault was the one that was passing by. Whereas that funny car was a Ferrari. It was a sports Ferrari car. Yeah, they had golden seats. I remember looking at the seats and they had golden seats. Yeah. What a rich car. What a really nice design car. It must be like rich to get that. Very well rich indeed. Very nice. V70. That's a V70 Volvo car. And you said it was stationary car? Station Vega. Wow. I really like the shape of it too. Imagine the seats in that car. This time, the same uh, miles. This is a 116D, and this is a Peugeot 206. Look at that. It's called Peugeot. Peugeot 206. No, not here, dear. I don't know. I'm just saying Peugeot 206, and my mom's car. Look at that. A brother and my mom's car's brother. Oh my God! What a coincidence. Because your Peugeot one is kind of too much tiny, mini. Yeah, even more than the last 
Peugeot that we just saw. This is it, you guys. We are back home. Fantastic, right? On the bridge, we both saw a car that is identical with my dad's and one other car that is identical with my mom's. This is absolutely acorns. It just formed into a tiny bit of drizzle. Look, absolutely acorns. I don't know what else to say. This sapphire building, the look at the color of that, it changed into pink, purple. I can hope that it's purple because I don't really like pink too much to be perfectly honest, but thankfully now it changed into blue. I like that even better than purple. I don't like pink. I don't really care about the other colors though. I'm just waiting for her to switch to red because red is my favorite color and it just goes around a color scale, you know, there. Orange and okay, finally it's in red. There, oh no, not yet, sorry. Oh, okay, it changes back. Like when it gets to red, it goes to orange and then to yellow and then in that way. But still, acorns. Well, so you guys, this is just about to be it for today's vlog. Thank you so much for watching. We have spent about 20 minutes of this evening watching a episode of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? The previous episode of Millionaire. There were a bunch of people that just left at the second threshold, but there was this one guy that I know could build up his progress up to nine or 10 questions throughout the entire show. But guys, I will see you in the vlog tomorrow. Like and subscribe and have a wonderful day. I will see you in the video. Bye.